here is one from Bertel Hogan in Kingston. Brackets, 10 points to the one who can pronounce my name correctly. Do you want to have a go? Let's have a look here. Bertel Hogan. Oh, this is easy. That's right. Bertel Haugen. <laughs> Bertel Haugen. Let us know who gets the 10 points. Bertel Haugen. Uh, hello, Adam and Joe. My mum has a tendency to accidentally phone people from her mobile. She was once in the car with my dad and they were talking about how irresponsible my younger brother is. They were being quite forthright and maybe a little mean. Unbeknownst to her, she'd accidentally phoned the brother and he was listening to the whole conversation on his mobile. So I'm glad that really happens in, in real life because you see it in films sometimes and it doesn't necessarily ring true. That's alarming. It? The idea of one's parents discussing one even when one... Am I saying one too much? No, you're like the Queen. That's good. Even when one is an adult mm -hmm. is disturbing. I mean, I remember as a kid in my bedroom, my parents had the bedroom beneath me, being able to hear them going... <laughs> and I would be, oh, God, what are they saying? What have I done? Oh, what do they think of me? Do you remember that at yeah, all? Yeah, man, through so the floorboard So that's the sort of modern telephone equivalent. But <laughs> with so, the... Listen to the fact, I think he looks <laughs> Do you think George Gray? I think he might be Gray. Me with a friend into his fish. Do you think he might be a phone? Do you think he might be a phone? Do you think he might be a phone? Why are you laughing? At the, you're laughing at something. You're, no one understands what you're saying. I don't know. I can't even. I'm laughing because I can't even do the floorboard thing because I'm laughing so much. <laughs> no, okay. Just I bet you that is a conversation they had about my hair. <laughs> well, it's the pants he likes. It's all new and the pants. He's put, he's put like sun in the sun. <laughs> it's streak of peroxide. <laughs> I got a Christmas card, my first Christmas card this week. Wowza. Exciting. Have you got any yet? Uh, I think I've got a couple of corporate ones. And it said on it, happy season. Right, because it might be insulting to someone of a non-Jesus-worshipping persuasion. Someone secular. Persuasion. You know, if someone is passionately happy secular... Happy season. ...and they get a card that says, happy Christmas, just the just the seeing the word, Ugh. the name Christ... Oh, don't, dare you! Don't, don't put that in my face with a robin underneath! How dare you! You've <laughs> ruined my season with just reminding me about that whole thing in the barn. How dare you! <laughs> I'm going to phone them up later on and right. complain. Right, I'm taking this card, I'm taking it to the person who sent it to me, and I'm going to shove it down their throat! <laughs> I'm going to shove it, I'm going to tear up the pieces of your Christmas card, I'm going to make you eat them! To teach you a lesson that I don't want to be reminded about him all the time. I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> Scrappy-doo! You've offended me! I hate you! So, luckily, that didn't happen because they just put happy season. <laughs> Man, that was quite cathartic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And also, the, um, the other ones you get are happy holidays. Right. What's your favourite secular holidays. greeting? Enjoyable time. <laughs> I would, would put on. And what would be on the card? Enjoyable time. Just um, close up of some tinsel. No, that's no. too specific. Right. Uh, just maybe blank. Blank. Yeah. Just no. A, wa a watch. A watch. <laughs> a watch. <laughs> Enjoyable time. Make exclamation it, mark. Right. Focus the attention on time itself. Yeah. 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 Rather than why. It could be that you're celebrating that time. Yes. Take it away from that. That's a good idea. Or, or be happy, brackets, on your own terms when you like. Mm -hmm. Close brackets. Or what about, going, <laughs> what about going completely the other way and being mm. very specific? Right. Have a good time. Jesus died for your sins. <laughs> yes. Why are you worshipping Christmas <laughs> if you do not believe in Jesus? I hope you burn in hell. Yeah, that would How be good. How about that? And what would be on that card? Somebody burning in hell. Satan. Very graphic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satan with a little Robin Redbreast mm -hmm. on but his shoulder. But that's not so good, is it? It's, it's not so cheery. It's way provocative. Yeah. But it's not as bad as Happy Christmas. Christ. Thanks very much. Happy season. Happy season. Mm. No one's going to get offended Season by of goodwill. Season. Time to revisit one of our Song Wars entries from last Christmas, where we both recorded Christmas-related songs. 
And um, this is my one. Uh, this is a special Christmas song. Now, it's you called... won with this one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I wiped the floor. But yours is very good. Thanks. <laughs> it is, you know, often the ones that win aren't the best ones. Well, that's the way... As we know from all great uh, listener-based competitions. That's the way it is in life. You know, Gareth Gates might win... But Will Young's the overall winner. Do you know what I mean? I think I do. Listen to my champagne. It's bubbly. Anyway, here's Christmas shopping at the All Night Garage. What? Oh, no. It's nine o'clock on Christmas Eve and I ain't got no presents yet. What am I going to do? I'll have to go down the All Night Garage. All Night Garage, All Night Garage. Christmas shopping at the All Night Garage. All Night Garage, All Night Garage. Christmas shopping at the All Night Garage. All Night Garage, All Night Garage. Christmas shopping at the All Night Garage. Christmas shopping at the all night garage. Hello there, mate. Uh, How are you doing? I've got to buy some stuff, and my Christmas will be ruined. We got dirty mags, locks and coal, after race, and unleaded petrol. Is that a DVD of Fists of Fury? Or is it double disc set with runaway jewelry or silent rage and Dark Force 2 in an action pack? That'll have to do. I'm not quite sure if my Auntie Doris appreciates the Uber of Chuck Norris, but I've left it late and it's beginning to rain, and on Christmas Day she can't complain. All night garage, all night garage, Christmas shopping at the all night garage. Christmas shopping at the old night garage. Say, Christmas shopping at the all night garage, all night garage, all night garage, Christmas shopping at the all night garage. Listen, mate, I've got to go, can I put everything on my my stroke? Yeah, sorry, gun, the machine's gone down, but there's a cash machine if you drive into town. At times like this, I can't help but feel I wish Santa Claus was really real. I asked myself, what would Jesus do? Perhaps he'd give his dad an old bottle of booze from the cupboard. Forget the windscreen wipers, mate. Merry Christmas. Might be for you. Christmas shopping at the all night garage, all night garage, all night garage. Christmas shopping at the all night garage. Joe, what's this you got me? Delta Force 2 and a cigarette lighter. Oh, thank you, you shouldn't have. 